Alaikum Salaam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can we use artificial intelligence? Especially for the purpose of transcribing and, you know, da'wa, creating materials, etc. Uh, the argument is that at the time of the Salaf, they used to use whatever was available for them. And throughout the ages, the ulama, you know, uh, used to uh, hand, uh, what do you call it, hand copy uh, what was, you know, manuscripts, etc. And use ink, and then they started using paper, and then they started using the printing press, etc. And then they started using the internet. Uh, so is the artificial intelligence just a branch and a, uh, and an, uh, you know, evolution of that? And I will say yes. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made easy for us in our deen, in our dunya, and facilitated for us, then you would need evidence to say that it's not permissible because the asal is, is that it is permissible. Allah has created everything on earth for you to use. So whatever comes about of advancements in technology and goodness, if it is permissible in its asal, then it is permissible. However, we do need guidelines. We do need you know, uh, criterion. We do need guidance from the ulama to say, well, yes, you can use it, but you can't do this and you can do that. One of the things that comes to mind immediately is permission. When it comes to artificial intelligence, and this is constantly in the news here in the UK, people are taking other people's images and putting it on other people's bodies, and people are doing this and people are doing that. People are faking things. I mean, when it comes to war and things like that and propaganda, there's a lot of you know, uh, fake news, etc. And all of this is because of people using technology irresponsibly. So I would say that the niya is very important. Permission is very important. Permission from the author and the content that you are using. But also, I know people who have used artificial intelligence. This is for a very long time. They've used translation apps and things like that. And it doesn't, it doesn't work. It has to be supervised. It has to be made sure that what you are... So basically, the third guideline, I would say, is that whatever you are producing has to be accurate. You can't just use it because it's easy, and you can't just use it because it's state-of-the-art. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be correct. And one of the responsibilities that we have when it comes to ilm is that you have to make sure that whatever it is that you say and whatever it is that you disseminate has to be authentic. So there are a few things. And another thing is, is that are we then going to distract people from actual learning? If you're going to end up using artificial intelligence to make videos and, and media and these kind of things, is that going to distract people from the Book of Allah and come into the masjid and, you know, doing the things which should be done in, in the correct manner? So what I'm saying here is, yes, artificial intelligence is a good tool. Uh, it can be relied upon, but it needs guidance and it needs uh, a criterion and I would say these are the things that come to mind initially but again I would say wait for the ulama uh, to put down more research into it and then issue out uh, you know a verdict so that we will have more clarity on this issue we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he grants us tawfiq and success and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best